What's up, dudes and dudettes? This is Noel on PC, and we are continuing our KSP adventure. In the previous video, I had rescued the crew from this craft because I believed it to be marooned. And it dawned on me in between these videos that there's a brain in here. There's a, rem a remote guidance unit, so we can actually control this thing with no pilots. Now, I still don't I don't think we have enough. We, I'm, I'm ninety percent sure we don't have the fuel to do this. But it can't hurt to try at least once. We're just gonna boot around. We'll do a quick save. We'll fall in. See what happens. If we have to load and then send a little rendezvous up, we will. That's essentially what I wanted to do for today's video was A, do an audio check and see how things, how I can sort of fix things from the previous video, and then basically was to finish this whole STS 2016 maroon salvage thing. So that's what we're doing. Rain or shine, quick or long, this is happening. Where are you going? Right, uh, clearly you need the nose over here. That was just unnecessary. Okay, just gonna do that, gonna do that. Get you back here. Okay, we get... I'm 90% sure that Clampatron was actually in an appropriate place, like it was brought out a little bit, so it wasn't so clipped into the floor like that. And now it's like reverted, it's reverted that work I did. Okay, forget it, forget you then. Let's just roll over for the sake of looking awesome. Bazinga. All right. Full burn. Hmm. I think that actually kind of worked. Yeah, it got me most of the way. I think RCS can get me the rest of the way. All right. This is going to take a second, so why don't we just do a little movie magic and star wipe. All right. Rain or shine, this is going to have to work. Again, worst case scenario, we can just do a quick load from where we were. But we are on a descent trajectory after exhausting much, much RCS. All right, we're going to quickly turn some of these off. Shut down lock, shut down lock. Shut down lock. A lot of you were like, why don't you just make a button for that? Meh. <laughs> this is kind of half the fun. All the clicking and stuff. All right, we've got it. Those engines on, air breathing, perfect. We're just gonna fall to 70,000. We're gonna kick that nose way up. And we are gonna surf Atmo as much as possible. In the previous video, our little two-piece thing just had like zero surf ability. It like, it just gave up. It just did not want to have any of that. What I love about this craft is there's so much lift surface sort of clipped in underneath and stuff. Like there's two huge wings that are just sort of in here. Up at the front are those long skinny wings, but they're still the big fat ones and they get lots of lift. The whole underbelly is lift surface. Like there's just so much, like just an insane amount of lift surface under there that the thing really does have a really nice flight dynamic. You guys know this if you've downloaded this craft and played it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, we're coming in a little hot. I think because I had we had kind of just went past usually where I start to drop in. Like our, our drop in is going to be a little steep we might actually lose some of those little RCS parts and whatnot. Um, oddly, I've lost a lot of control. Like I'm trying to bring the nose up. I'm basically holding D. But yeah, I've got no control. Let's get the air brakes out. I probably should have put those out right away. Ah, 
I guess the nice thing about the nose not being super high is that it's not causing a lot of stress. Needlessly on any of the parts underneath. Okay, we're starting to get that nose up. Sort of. Something just blew. Can't tell what it is. Obviously just um, RCS struts, or not struts, RCS jets and whatnot. Um, this is so weird. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. We've got a ton of weight in the front. Like if I do this. What? Oh, this is no nope, fucking impossible. I can't I can't see the tank up there, so I can't right click it. But if I could just right click that tank and then right click the tank in the back, I can start moving some of that liquid fuel out. If I could just get that liquid fuel out, I'd get a lot of my flight dynamics back. There we go. Uh, fuck, which one is it? This one? Out. There we go. Okay. Whew. Doing a lot of twisting and turning. Gotta almost get the air brakes off. Alright, I can already, I can already feel the nose coming up. Yeah, fuck. So if we had done that from the very beginning. Oh. Yeah, yeah, if we had done that from the beginning, I would have had a lot more control. And we wouldn't be coming down so short. But... Do I have thrust up here? I do. Nice. We can just keep some of the speed. We're just going to surf. because so We're basically in level flight. And we're not ditching speed very fast. So we can actually just sort of coast over there. We're just going to go say, uh, we're just going to go say hi. And put her down. You know, errors like this are to be expected when you're talking about unmanned, you know, unmanned craft like this. This is basically a, a drone, essentially. Uh, just very large, very expensive. Very, very expensive. Just going to reiterate, this is a lot of funds. If you're playing career mode and you want to use this craft, don't. Just don't. Don't. Not unless you make the entire system reusable and you're salvaging all the parts, the boosters, the main tank, like this thing, like just everything. Just don't. Use a simple lifter and build stuff in space for the most part. If you're going to take anything up like an ISS, if you're going to do your own ISS, don't do it with a space shuttle in career mode. You're just, you're doomed for failure. All right, so going about a thousand miles an hour still. We could probably cut throttle and just glide in. So let's just pretend like that last little bit didn't happen, right? And we're just, this is our, this is our glide in. We've been gliding in the whole time, right? We're down to 400 now. Usually around 400 is when I start touching buttons on the keyboard because I don't like to do a lot of movement during the re-entry because it'll just cause this thing to flip and spin. And Well, you know the drill. You've been here. You've been here for a while. I'm assuming you've been here for a while. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome. Everybody Everybody, give uh, so-and-so a hand. Clap, 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 clap. Golf clap. Welcome. All right, we are still really heavy. Can I jettison? Nope. God damn it. I wish I could jettison. If I could jetty a bunch of this fuel, I guess we could just like slowly burn a little bit off. 13 point 13 units per second. Yeah, that's not really doing anything. Um, so what we should Oh, I can't. I can't change these to uh, closed, because so I have no oxidizer. So I'm just burning futilely. This is totally futile. I'm even going to open these up to compensate, so basically we're just jettisoning fuel right now. Full burn, unnecessarily. Air brakes out, unnecessarily. Right, it's starting to come through the cloud cover. See the runway forming underneath there? The cloud cover is awesome. I just love this. The stock visual enhancement mod. Why do you ask over and over again? And I say these things over and over again. It just kind of bugs me when I know I know you haven't watched the entire video because you'll ask me a question I answered in the video. I hate it when I, that happens with my cheat videos. Like two minutes, three minutes long, and you can't be bothered to watch it. 
and you'll ask the question, I go ham. I go fucking ham on those guys sometimes. I'm just like, you're an idiot. Like just blatantly. Like I don't even want you. I don't want your view. Go away. <laughs> go find someone else. All right. They just want a picture. They just want to see like a few snippets. They're just moving the mouse along and they're trying to see like generally what you did, but they're not listening or reading about anything you did. And then they ask you like a really generic question that you'd have to know the answer to to make the cheat work. God damn. School's out for the summer. We're getting a lot of those comments lately. Uh, I'm pulling up as hard as I can right now. We're going to slam so fucking hard. Oh my god. That was insane. I thought for sure we just barked it. But there was no one in it. So I thought, fuck it. Like if it crashes, it's just a cool piece of null on PC Kerbal history. But no, this will be the day that that tower right there saw this thing almost eat fucking shit. <laughs> that was awesome. Like all those guys in the tower with their binocs are like, I'm, I'm holding bi fake binocs up to my eyes right now. So you guys do the same thing. Pretend, pretend you're in the room with me. Oh fuck. He's coming down really hard. Oh God. He's coming down so steep. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Why isn't he pulling up? Why isn't he pulling up? Why isn't he pulling up? He, he, oh, he's okay. I think he's okay. He's rolling. He's rolling. He's good. Is he good? Is it good? I think we're good. I think that worked. Did that work? Did that work? Did everyone see that? Holy shit. All right. Good job, everybody. That's exactly what happened in that tower. They're like, all right, well, good job. Fuck. We almost borked that one. All right, we got this thing down. Mission accomplished. But there's still that fucking A-class asteroid up there that basically just refuses to re-enter. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do, but what I thought about doing was I'm going to take two arms. Uh, I have... I have the, the arms I can show you in here, you know, the little arms that grab asteroids, this little thing, the, the advanced grabbing unit, right? I'm going to take two of those, right? And I'm going to make, I'm going to make a link between two asteroids. So I'm going to take that A class and I'm going to attach it to a B. And then on the B, we're going to attach the parachute assemblies on the other side and maybe even like some boosters. So basically we're going to come in over the KSC, punch the boosters, and try and fall more or less straight down, hopefully under some kind of sort of rocket control. That's the only thing I can think of. So if you have any better suggestions, feel free to comment. I might read it. Guys, until next time, peace, love, cheers.